Pretty scientists wants to do a first private mission to the moon where we want to go back to Apollo 17. And we really want to go back to the lunar rover vehicle that's been sitting on the moon for more than 45 years now and use the Vodafone network to transmit back HD videos and take a look at how the materials are holding up after such a long time on space. So in order to get to the moon, uh, we had to develop our own spacecraft, which is called Alina. And in order to get to the moon, we had to put it on top of a rocket, which is a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket, which will bring us into Earth's orbit. And from Earth's orbit, we are flying on our own propulsion to the moon, and then hopefully land softly on the moon near Apollo 17. Vodafone's contribution to the moon is to establish a long-term uh, long reusable LTE infrastructure on the moon that can be used in future again. Thanks to the Vodafone 4G network, everyone will be, um, will be able to see the, the HD uh, moving pictures from up the moon. Uh, so we're going to bring them down via um, the uh, deep space link of ESA. Um, so whenever we, all the pictures we produce up there will come down to Earth and will be seeable for everyone. We brought the Vodafone network on this, um, on this UCN from Nokia. Uh, so this one will be attached to Alina uh, and, and the rovers. Um, the Outer Luna Quattro will drive around on the moon's surface. And due to the really low uh, con uh, power consumption and the, the high efficiency, the rovers can drive around and do some experiments. T-17, final guidance release. We'll expect engine ignition at 8.9 seconds. 10. We want to go back to Apollo 17 because it is the last place where humanity left um, on the moon. And also because it's a geologically really interesting region where lots of science has been done. And by going back, we can augment the existing science with new data points. And we can also um, learn about how the materials that have been used in space are holding up. So for example, if you want to create a moon village as the European Space Agency is envisioning it, then um, you want to know which materials you can use to build a permanent base on the moon. And for that, it is very interesting to look at, the, for example, the lunar rover Hirikel, that's um, the buggy that the, moon, uh, the astronauts were driving on the moon, and see you know, if the materials were falling apart after 45 years on being in space. And the most important question is, can we use duct tape to fix our space station? One of the challenges we are facing was we are landing at a certain place which is a bit far away from the Apollo 17 landing site because we don't want to disturb it. But, and then we have the rovers driving towards um, Apollo 17 and we need to transmit back the videos from the rovers to Earth to see where we are going actually, where we're actually driving to. And for that we asked Vodafone to help us because if we were to directly transmit the imagery from the rover to Earth, it would take a lot of energy and we would have to develop bigger rovers. And so with using technology that's been proven on Earth, like 4G or LTE networks, we can actually save a lot of power and have small rovers. The claim of the PT scientists is uh, space belongs to everyone. So broadcasting the mission and bring it down to every mobile device on, on, the, on Earth is really crucial because it is our idea to democratize the whole mission. So in order to get to the moon, we had to develop our own spacecraft, which we call Alina. And we also had to develop rovers, which we call the Audi Luna Quattro. Who is the fourth generation rover. So we had many generations before that. And it has been significantly improved by Audi by making it more lightweight and more agile for rough terrain and in particular the, um, the weight saving is significant. We are using 3D printed aluminium in order to save a lot of weight um, and make it more agile. Hopefully everyone will make selfies and uh, even stream your favorite TV show in space uh, and, uh, and you will be able to FaceTime from one planet to the other. We have a lot of, uh, we have a lot of ideas about that, uh, um, so hopefully, yes. Mm -hmm.